Hello to you and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe if you have any questions or what else you would like me to cover, please put into the comments. Today I'm going to be covering the feature called IP Visual Subnet Display. As you can see here, this subnet has this visual representation of the devices or in this case users in this one it would be the routers and you can see right here via the visual subnet display that what's in use and what's not in use by default this setting is set to a slash 24 and is for is usable for every subsequent smaller so slash 24 covers a slash 25 all the way down to a slash 32. Here we have a slash 27 represented as you can see here in the top. Also by the length there's only 32 IPs here. So let's begin to see how we can make and expand these ranges to as big as a slash 19 which would be about 8,190 8, IP addresses. To make these changes, let's go to our home, go to administration, PHP IPAM settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, right? And you can see here that we have a slash 24, right? So that's the default setting. I haven't changed anything yet. And you can actually just disable it by don't show visual display and as you can see it goes from slash 19 to all the way up to slash 24. Now remember before I continue here if I do a slash 19 that covers visually a slash 20 and 21, 22, 23, 24 and on and on and on. So let's see an example of this. So we'll go here subnets my company get in here we'll go to office 3 to do this in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of test networks that are uh, like a slash 24 so I'm just going to go and with this feature I can just grab a network so I'll grab that one we'll call it test 1 and we'll save it as a name We'll create another one that's a uh, slash 23. So let's grab this and I'll, let's see here, do 46. Again, this is just a example. Um, and we'll do another one that's a slash 22. And there we go. And okay, so we have our three networks, right? And we're set to slash 24. We already looked at this one, and you can, this is slash 27, right? This is should be a slash 24, and so you can see all the IP addresses there. We go to the slash um, 23. See, there's no visual IP display. And then for test three, which I made as uh, slash 22, right, there's nothing there. So to change that, let's go over here, back to PHP IPAM settings. We'll scroll down and make this a 23, because that's the test two. And we'll go back to our subnet. And what was that? Office 3 and test 2. And as you can see, there's 512 IP addresses and all of the usable. We don't have anything in use. And if we go to test 3, there's still no visual display. So, and that's a slash 22. So let's go over here. Scroll down. We'll make that a slash 22. Hit save, go back to that subnet, and Office 3, right? 
So if I go into here, which is a slash 22, now you'll see all the, you know, usable IP addresses, right? Okay, so after looking at all this, if I create another network, I don't think I can. I think I've used up too many IPs. Nope, I can. I think I can make a slash 21 disconnect over. So let's go to test, call test four. There we go. So if I go into test four, right, it has like 2000 IPs and obviously there's no visual. Now I could go all the way back, but I think that's pretty clear. Um, basically, if you do a slash 19, however, this does take, uh, there are some drawbacks to this. First off, it does take up more CPU. It does um, require more resources. So if you have a lot of people using your uh, PHP IPM, it can create a problem. Well, I hope I made this feature, the IP visual display limit feature a little clearer for people. I want to say thank you for watching my video on this feature called the IP visual display. As always, please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover. Thank you.